doctor. Oh, oh, hi, I'm Dr. Sadia, I'm calling from GP clinic. Um, may I know whom I'm speaking with? Yeah, doctor, I'm Henry Brown. Okay, no, thank you. Is this a good time to talk to you? Yeah, doctor. Okay, no, so before we begin, I just need to ask a few questions, okay? Um, can you please confirm your uh, first line of address? Yeah, it is 3 Hardman Street, Manchester. Okay, and is this the, the right number just in case the call get cut off, I can call you back? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, so I can see from my note that you have some concern. Uh, so please feel free to let me know. Oh, yeah, actually, doctor, I'm having this headache since morning and it's getting worse, doctor. Please do something. Oh, dear. I see. Um, but are you comfortable enough to continue this conversation, though? Yeah, doctor, I can manage. Okay. Uh, by any chance, did you take any painkiller? No, doctor, I have not. Okay. Uh, can you please tell me more about your uh, headache? What do you want to know, doctor? Like, um, you told me that it started since morning, um, but can you please um, specifically tell me that where exactly in the head you are having this pain? Yeah, doctor, it's like on my forehead and in the front part of my head, doctor. Oh, I see. And um, do you uh, remember any particular thing you were doing before it started? Oh, no, just I woke up in the morning and then this headache started. Oh, I see. And is it continuous since then? Yeah, it is continuous. Okay, and is it getting worse? Mm, I'm not sure. Okay, okay, don't worry. Um, by any chance, uh, this headache uh, go anywhere from where it started? No. Um, anything makes it uh, feel uh, worse? No. Um, anything makes it a bit better? Yeah, when I'm trying to lie down and I'm trying to relax, then it gets better. Okay, I see. Uh, can you please score the pain for me, like one being the lowest and 10 being the highest pain? I think it is six. Six, okay. No, please don't worry. Um, okay, let me ask you a few questions so I, I can be in a better position to um, give you some medication, okay? Okay. Uh, um, so apart from this uh, headache, do you have any other problem? I feel a little bit sick as well. I see, since when? Since morning, doctor. At the same time? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and um, by any chance, did you vomit? No. Okay, and um, is this sickness getting worse? No. Okay, and uh, any other problem apart from this? No, doctor. Okay, um, so by any chance, do you feel like this headache is the worst headache of your life? No. Okay, and uh, do you have uh, this headache before? Um, no, doctor. This is the first time I have, I'm having this kind of headache. Okay. Any weakness or numbness anywhere in your face or body? No. Okay. Uh, any dizziness by any chance? No. Okay. Um, so, uh, Henry, um, uh, can you please tell me uh, how has your health been recently apart from this uh, headache? Yeah, it is okay. Uh, by any chance, any um, a common cold or flu-like symptom recently? No. Uh, any blocked nose? No. Or fullness in your ear? No. Okay, okay. That's good to hear. Uh, do you have any medical problem? No, doctor. Okay. Um, uh, any regular medicine you are taking by any chance? No. Okay. Any allergy do you have? No. Okay, okay. Um, no, don't worry, Henry. I'm just asking these questions. Maybe seems like a lot, but these are just structured questions, okay? Mm -hmm. um, so, um, Henry, I just need to ask a few questions about your lifestyle. Uh, do you smoke? Uh, yeah, doctor. I'm smoking a few cigarettes per day. I see. Um, uh, since when? Since pa past four to five years. Okay, okay. 
um, and um, roughly how many cigarettes uh, do you have per, per day? Four to five, doctor. I told you. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. Um, I didn't realize. So, um, do you smoke? Do you uh, drink al alcohol? Uh, yeah, doctor. Okay. Um, roughly, can you tell me how much do you drink in a week? Um, most of the time on weekends, I drink a lot. Okay. Um, um, how much? Um, I can't say how much because uh, yesterday as well, we were on a party and we drank a lot. Oh, I see. Yesterday. Okay. Um, and um, apart from that, now how is your diet? Mm, oh, my diet is okay. Okay, okay, that's good to know. Uh, so, um, Henry, um, may I know uh, what do you do for um, uh, uh, for your, I mean, the job? I am a banker. Two minutes remaining. Okay. Thank you so much for answering my questions, Henry. Um, so I will have a, cl a close look. I will quickly check your vitals, like heart rate, blood pressure, okay? And mm -hmm. I will examine you from head to toe. And um, yeah, and now also since you are having this um, headache, um, uh, I, I will uh, check your nerves and, um, and, and also check your neck and mouth, okay? Okay, doctor. Um, so, um, Henry, uh, you are having this headache since this morning, and um, you also told me that you um, you went to a party where you drank a lot uh, last night. Um, so, uh, do you have any idea what could be the reason of this headache? Oh, yeah, doctor. Like, is it because of this alcohol hangover? Mm. Yes, I mean, so far what you have told me, um, it, it seems like it could be um, the reason, okay? Um, but to be on the safe side, um, I would suggest that um, uh, you can come to a face-to-face -face appointment where we can have a close look, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I can come. And Okay, and in the meantime, uh, I would um, uh, suggest that you take some uh, painkiller, um, like uh, paracetamol, um, uh, the, the two tablets. Um, uh, it may help, okay? Mm -hmm. And when you will come, we, we will do some further test uh, just to be on the safe side if you have, uh, just to check you don't have any other um, uh, problem. Okay. Done. So, who is next? Dr. Arti. Thank you, Sadia. We will discuss the feedback at the end. Dr. Arti, are you there? Yes. Uh, hello, Dr. Kurat. Hi. This is your station, Dr. Arti. Okay. Sorry, this is not him, this is her. Please talk to her. Okay. Hello. Hello, doctor. Uh, this is Dr. Arthi Jimani, one of the junior doctor working in clinic today. Can I take your name and age, please? Yeah, doctor. I'm Emma Smith. Nice to meet you, Emma Smith. And uh, how can I address you? Uh, you can call me Emma. Okay, Emma. What can I do for you today? Actually, doctor, I want you to refer me for some fertility workup because I want to be pregnant. Okay, surely we're gonna have a look how we can help you. But before proceeding, can I have a, a bit understanding uh, why you want to go for the fertility clinic at first, please? 
Mm, yeah, sure, Dr. Well, actually, me and my partner, we are lesbians. So we want to conceive, we want to have a baby of our own. So it would be great if you can help us because I have heard that uh, NHS is covering this fertility workup and they are covering this treatment options for le lesbians. So that's why I'm here. Okay, yeah, sure. Look into it and let's see what could be the better option for you. So before proceeding, can I ask, have you guys have decided who will be the, uh, will donate the egg and who gonna carry the baby? Yeah, yeah, my partner will donate the egg and I'm gonna carry the baby. Uh, okay, okay. And uh, so uh, if, if it, it will be better if you both can come to the appointment so that we can have better understanding of both of your health. But if you want, I can proceed to discuss with you the option what are available for you. Is that yeah, okay? Sure. Okay, Emma. So just have a quick look about your journal health. So could you please tell me how has your health been recently? Ah, uh, yeah, my health is okay, doctor. Okay. Uh, have you been diagnosed with any medical problem? No. Any history of sexually transmitted disease? No. Okay. Are you taking any medicine over the counter or herbal medicine? No. And a few questions regarding your lifestyle. Uh, um, do you smoke? No. And how about alcohol? Uh, yeah, yeah, I drink sometimes. Okay. And uh, are you physically active? Um, Hello? No, I'm not that much active, doctor. Okay, and how about your diet? My diet is okay. Mm, that's lovely to know. And uh, any family history of significant uh, problem that I should be aware of? No. Okay, thank you so much for answering all. Uh, any problem in your partner's family? Any genetic problem? No. Any uh, any uh, problem in, in your partner health, general no. health, how she... Okay, that's quite reassuring. So uh, I would like to examine you before proceeding. Just have a quick check. Is that okay with you? Yes. Okay, so I would just have a look, uh, take your journal observation, in including your blood pressure, temperature, and pulse, and have a look into your tummy and listen to your heart and lungs. Is that okay with you? Mm-hmm. Okay, and, and to be on the safe side, I would also like to... Um, go for the baseline investigation, including your blurs, your liver function, kidney functions, just as a routine, okay? Okay. Okay, Ma, now, now let's discuss what are the options for you. So there are a couple of options. Once you're gonna, I, I'm gonna refer to you the fertility clinic. They will discuss you uh, like a donor insemination, co-parenting, and uh, uh, there is a, uh, kind of uh, adaptation or fostering service also. So do you have given any thought in which you are interested? Um, I'm not sure about the other methods, but yeah, I have heard about this donor insemination. So can you please uh, uh, tell me what is that? Yeah, yeah, surely. Uh, it is the process in which like uh, um, donor, uh, like uh, a sperm is uh, inserted. This process can be done at home. Uh, we suggest it should be done at the fertility clinic. Uh, would you like me to explain why? Mm, yeah, sure. Yeah, because uh, uh, and once they are uh, done by the licensed fertility clinic, they, they thoroughly investigate the, the, the sperm which are they are inserting, there shouldn't be any problem like a genetic problem or any infection. So it's kind of a mental satisfaction for the parents. Am I making sense to you? Okay, so doctor, uh, what it like, uh, they are going to inject it or what they are going to do for me? Uh, uh, after that, uh, they're gonna uh, like, uh, yeah, it, it's a bit not that much invasive process. They just insert inside vagina. Okay. Okay. And uh, uh, 
unfortunately, the waiting time is a bit high in, in, for infertility clinic and uh, they will offer you six cycles for that. If after six cycles, uh, unfortunately, it's still you are not uh, uh, able to conceive, they, then they're gonna think about the other options. Am I making sense to you? Are you getting me, Emma? Yes, doctor. Well, six cycles. So uh, these six cycles will be free, right? Uh, actually, I'm not sure about the cost at the moment. Uh, I will double check and then uh, as I'm referring you to the fertility clinic, there will be in better position to explain you in detail. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And uh, uh, if you want me to proceed to for the other options like co-parenting or adoption, no, doctor, I, I don't want those options, actually. I was just thinking about this one, like to, to have our own baby in any way. Uh, yeah, yeah, surely this is, the, this is a very good option. And uh, as I, I'm going to give you the leaflets and all the written information, you can go through all these things, like what are the legalities of this? and uh, uh, what will be the process, like uh, how you have to go through along with this. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure, doctor. Okay, is there any question? No, me? not now. So are you going to refer me now? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, we're gonna process your uh, referral. You will uh, soon get a appointment letter from the fertility clinic. If you, you are not getting any letter, you can come back to us. We're gonna have a look. Okay, doctor. Okay. Move on to the next station. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Batra. So anyone else wants to perform? I need a name quickly. Ideally, someone who is having exam in this month, in next week. Dr. Lane, Dr. Anika, Dr. Pernota, um, Dr. Sara, are you there? Okay, somebody raised the hand. So may I know when is your exam, Dr. Rosalina? Rosalina, yeah. I hope I'm pronouncing it. It's the 1st March. It's the 1st March. Okay. So you want to perform? Yeah, I want to try. Okay. So um, Dr. Pan, are you there? Yes, I'm here. All right. So Dr. Pana will be your simulator. And then your next station is this one. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Thank you, Dr. Pana, for joining us. It's all right. I'm, I'm trying to. Thank you for calling me. You're welcome. Okay. Give me some time. <laughs> okay. 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 So it's face to face, right? Yeah. Okay, if you are ready, then can you start? I, think I will start the timer now because 90 seconds are over. Hello. Hello. 
I'm Dr. Tara. I'm one of the doctors in the department. Um, please, um, are you Mr. Jonathan? Yes, doctor. Okay. Um, Mr. Jonathan, I understand um, that you brought your four-year-old son, Carl, um, two days ago to the hospital and um, he had some tests done. Am I correct? Yes, doctor, you are right. But I'm not sure, doctor, why nurse called me again to come here. Okay. Well, um, Mr. Jonathan, um, there are some, um, well, Carl had some investigations done and um, I understand that he was placed on some medications and discharged mm -hmm. home. Um, well, what happened was that um, the investigation that was done, which was the x-ray, uh, was okay. reviewed by um, a radiologist and unfortunately, um, radiologist um, saw something on the x-ray. Uh, would you like to know about that? Yes, doctor. What do you mean by that? Uh, radiologist saw something, but when I came here two days ago with my son, it, they said everything was normal. Yes, Mr. Jonathan, everything was normal. Um, before I disclose what happened, can I just ask you some few questions just to know how Carl is doing at the moment, please? Okay, yeah, what do you want to know? Okay, um, so from my notes, I understand that um, Carl had the swelling of his right hand, uh, which is sustained after falling while playing. So um, how is it doing at the moment? Uh, doctor, um, he is still in pain and the swelling is still there. Um, and doctor give, uh, told me to give him some painkiller, but it doesn't help him. Yeah, I, I, I understand, Mr. Jonathan. Um, I'm so sorry about what Carl is um, still experiencing right now at the moment. But as, any, as the symptom you, you just mentioned is getting worse, is there any other thing that um, you've noticed in Carl's hand recently? Uh, no, doctor, like what? Maybe like, um, you know, redness or, you know, you say the swelling, is it, is it increasing or is it still the same way it was when he came to the hospital? Uh, doctor, it's almost uh, same like what happened two days ago. Oh, okay. Um, well, also, Mr. Jonathan, um, what I wanted to discuss with you at this moment is that, um, unfortunately, um, there's been an error in the way Carl was treated. Um, when he came to the hospital last time. Okay, doctor, mm, you, you're saying that there is an error? Yes. Um, let me just um, explain to you what happened. Well, um, when the x-ray was done, it was read mm -hmm. by the doctors in the emergency department. But um, the hospital protocol is that after um, all investigations have been done, we sent them to the um, specialists to also review them to so see if um, there was something missing. So when we sent Carl's x-ray to the radiologist, he found um, that there was a fracture on um, the x-ray. What, what, what are you seeing, doctor? There is, an, uh, there is a fracture and uh, the doctor told me everything was okay. And my son, he, uh, that's why he, he's getting this pain and soiling, he was crying and you're saying that the doctor missed that? How could it possible? I'm, I'm so sorry, Mr. Jonathan. I know this um, must be coming as a, um, a shock to you, um, but the fracture was very tiny. It was a hairline, a tiny fracture, which um, the doctor missed. Um, and anybody could have missed that fracture because it was a very tiny fracture that was so little. Um, so it was possible that um, the doctor didn't see that. That's why we sent the x-ray to the radiologist to review and he found that. I'm very sorry that um, we could not identify the fracture at that point. But doctor, it doesn't mean that you are saying story and then my son getting this problem for the last two days. And you, you know that being a four-year-old son and having this son and having this problem and does this mean that he was saying sorry to me and it will be solved? I understand that um, this is actually quite serious and um, we take full responsibility for what has happened to Carl. We're, we're actually Doctor, I'm sorry. not happy what happened. I'm not happy. Um, it, does, it is not acceptable, doctor. I understand. That's why we actually called 
uh, called you so you could bring Carl back so we can rectify what has happened. I'm so sorry for what um, the pain that Carl is actually passing through at the moment, Mr. Jonathan. So what will happen now? Okay, so moving forward, Mr. Jonathan, we advise that you bring Carl back, the um, specialist um, has advised for us to put a cast and then review him after two weeks. Hopefully he will get better by that time. But doctor, I'm not happy. I want to complain. Why that doctor did this? Why not they wait for the radiologist to, to review his x-ray? Okay. Um, I understand, Mr. Jonathan, that you're very um, distressed and um, annoyed at this point. It's okay to be upset. You have every right to be upset and angry with um, the way your son was managed. Well, um, the hospital has a protocol that um, after, just like I explained, all the x-rays will be taken to the radiologist after review by the doctors in the emergency department, because it's possible that some um, fractures might be missed. And unfortunately it happened at this point. I'm so sorry. But however, if you want to report about this incident, I'll be, we can offer you um, patient advice liaison service and we can tell you what to do moving forward. Yes, doctor, please give me the information. I, I, I want to complain because what happened with my son, it can happen with others. So I don't want to happen this again. Yeah, I understand um, that you're very upset. And um, so I'll offer you pause and um, we will discuss with you further about mm -hmm. it. I'm so sorry about what happened to your son, Mr. Jonathan. Okay, doctor. So um, okay. when would you be free to take um, bring Carl to the hospital so we'll place the cast on him? Okay, doctor, I will bring him. Okay, thank you so much for your um, acceptance and thank you so much for understanding. Um, okay, doctor, but um, is this something happening in this hospital? Well, I'm not really sure, but this, I assure you that this doesn't occur frequently, but if you want to know the exact, um, information about this there's a department in the hospital i can get to them and get the data for you would that be okay okay doctor please give me all the information no problem we are here to help and support you mr jonathan and your son okay doctor thank you all right thank you so much thank you i think we had some time right yeah we had 30 <laughs> seconds mm -hmm. It's okay. You have finished the station, then that's fine. Okay, so I can see only five minutes are left. So we have to start a new meeting and then we will be discussing the feedback, okay? Mm -hmm.